Hey guys, welcome back to Hype RC. In today's video, we're going to be going over the new FMS FCX24 K5 Blazer. This guy actually comes in three different colors to choose from. You've got an orange, a brown, and then I chose the black. My best friend growing up had one that was this exact same color, so that is the one I had to pick. This thing is amazing looking in person. Let's get over to the bench and check it out. All right, let's take a look at what comes out of the box with your K5 Blazer. So first is the instruction manual here. Now they're calling it a 24 scale and we'll talk about that in just a minute, but this is a real nice instruction manual. It's got exploded views and how to work your controller and battery and just all the things that you're gonna need to know about your rig. So I highly suggest you take a look through that. This, it comes with a new, I'm going to call it a V3. They're calling it the V2, but as far as what I could tell, this is actually a V3 controller because they had the original one with the toggle switches, and then they had one that came out that didn't have the same controls as this one. So this is the V3. I like the original one with the toggle switches better, but this one actually does everything that I need it to do. It came with a real nice luggage rack. If you pre-ordered this, you got a luggage rack and a really nice bumper extra add-ons for it and then it comes with this pack it's got some stickers to change out the license plate your usb charger uh, shock spacers it comes with some little o-rings so you can oil fill these factory shocks a t-wrench it comes with a really nice roll bar if you're going to take off the back so that's a nice little added bonus of extra parts if you pre-ordered this rig but let's go ahead and take a look at the scale size of this rig so i'm going to put my jlu jeep this is a 24 scale. Now you could tell sitting next to the Bronco that these do not fit in the same class. Now the wheelbase is very close to being the same, but the body I think moves this up into an 18th scale class. So let's go ahead and take a look at it compared to the original power wagon. Now I do have this thing stretched out a little bit, but the wheelbase is a little longer, but you can tell that this body gets even a little bit bigger than a 24 scale, but doesn't quite get as big as the K5 Blazer body. So let's take a look at it next to the TRX4M Defender. And so the wheelbase is just a little bit longer on the TRX4M, but the body really lines up with this 18th scale. So in my opinion, I'm gonna say that this rig is an 18th scale rig. So let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood real quick. So the body latches on this, all you gotta do is squeeze these in and this body will just pop right off. It's so easy and nice, I really love that system. They made the new light cables long enough that you can sit the body to the side when you're taking a look underneath the hood on your rig. So this is basically the same thing as the power wagon underneath other than the new controls that it has in it. It also did come with this new waterproof switch up front which I really like. And then they finally addressed the little rubber band battery strap that was holding this down. So this is a super nice upgrade to the original one but the springs on the shocks are actually different than what were on the power wagon too but the links and everything else drive shafts everything else is exactly the same that came on the power wagon so let's go ahead and get this guy out on the rocks and see what she can do <laughs> guys this rig ran very well box stock i am extremely impressed fms has done a killer job with this k5 blazer let's go over the pros and cons of this rig and number one we're going to start off with the pros are the looks 
This thing is just dynamite looking out of the box. I am so glad I chose the black. I'm not going to say that the orange doesn't pop, and I might look at getting one of those down the road, but I am extremely happy with the black K5 Blazer. Uh, next, let's talk about the two-speed transmission. This is just an amazing thing that FMS has done. It shifts so seamlessly from low to high, back down to low. It allows you to do a lot with this truck. Next, let's talk about the portal axles. They perform so well. I am extremely impressed with those from the original Power Wagon to the K5. Man, those things are just amazing. I love the clipless body mounts that they have made for this rig. So you can swap on the Power Wagon body, you can swap on the Max Smasher body, you can put the K5 body on, so you can mix and match these bodies on the same chassis. FMS has just done an amazing job with that mounting system, so that is super cool. The new waterproof on and off switch they put in the front of this is another really nice pro. The new battery strap that they put on as opposed to that kind of rubber band thing they had in the beginning is they the FMS fans requested a new system and they listened and they gave us that strap and it works very well I'm extremely happy with that the wheels and tires on this rig actually perform very well for an RTR and the wheels look pretty darn good so if you're a guy that doesn't want to go out and throw a bunch of money at a rig you can have a lot of fun with this just the way it sits box stock uh, then the drag brake on this on inclines and declines you let off the throttle man and it just sticks wherever you leave it so that is a very nice pro all the extra parts they gave you are a pro the controller this is like the v3 controller i like it it is a pro it is very nice you can control the lights and uh, change the transmission on the fly with that thing super nice the packaging that FMS always comes in is super nice. It allows you to have something to be able to put your rig in if you're going to throw it in the back of the car and travel around to keep it safe. So FMS just does a really good job of that too. But let's talk about a few of the cons with this rig. So anytime you have a hard scale body, it's going to have a high center of gravity. So we did some light to medium crawling with this rig and it performed very well. But if you're going to go out and try to hit some really killer lines, it's going to roll over on you. It's going to flip over on you. But I knew that when I purchased this, I knew it wasn't going to perform like the Power Wagon. This is not what what this truck is for but it performed very well with some light rock crawling definitely do really good on the trails for you next let's talk about the shocks they're going to have to be replaced you know i'd like to get some uh dampened oil filled shocks put on this that is going to help performance for sure this does have bushings in it so I'm going to get a fast eddies kit ordered over and we're going to get this thing running super smooth with a whole new set of bearings in it um the suspension links and the front steering link are going to need to be replaced especially the front steering link when you get caught into a hard spot or anything you can see that thing kind of bow and flex so i highly recommend replacing that and then the charger that this thing comes with i am not a fan of the usb chargers in my opinion i think that they can be dangerous i suggest anybody in this hobby go out and get a hobby grade charger to be able to properly charge and storage charge most importantly your batteries for when you put them up but all in all the k5 blazer is worth every single penny for 150 dollars it is an amazing rig so go out and get your hands on one and get your own opinion but mine i love this rig so don't forget to support your local hobby shops bash crawl repeat hit that subscribe and like button for me and ring the bell so you can catch my next video we'll see you next time